Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are live on this very special Thursday edition of Eric Johnston Live. It's nine o'clock. And first of all, foremost, I'm going to thank everyone who are, is, is continuing to come back uh, to this show right away. I can see my buddy Chris, my buddy Chuck, Barb, everyone's coming back and sharing this show immediately. So I'm going to say off the top, of every show, if you can see me right now, please share this live stream. This live stream is going to be a very special one. Last week on the show, on the Thursday edition of the show, we had Kyle Andrew, um, a uh, international male model and also a contestant on the Bachelorette Canada. Uh, he was on the show and uh, we were talking everything to do with getting into relationships and everything to do with online dating and going on dates. Now that sprung, sprung, sprung. It sprung an idea for me to do an entire show on breakups. Now it's Thursday night. People generally start their uh, weekend on a Thursday night, especially now that uh, time doesn't exist and no one gives a fuck uh, what day it is anymore and no one cares to drink anymore. Uh, we are uh, deep, deep into this quarantine. This is the sixth, I mean, sixth or seventh week that I've been doing live streams, which is crazy. That's almost two months, at least a month and a half that I've been doing live streams. A month and a half ago, I had never done a live stream. I didn't know how to do live streams. I had never done them before. I never planned on doing them. And then my role as a traveling stand-up comedian was taken away from me by COVID-19. Uh, but that is okay because it caused me to be uh, creative uh, in other ways. One of those ways is Eric Johnston Live, why you guys are all here uh, right now. Now, what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to put this um, stream, the link to join this stream in the comments. Uh, as you can see right there, I'm going to bring it right up here. StreamYard.com slash Grizzle uh, <laughs> That's the link to join this stream. Uh, we have a very special guest uh, co-host uh, and guest on the show. Uh, one of my very best friends in the world. One of the guys who uh, I started doing stand-up comedy. He is actually the reason why I started to do stand-up comedy. Uh, so he's going to be on in just a bit. I'm going to introduce him. But I'm allowing anyone to come on to the show this evening. Anyone who wants to come on to the show and tell a crazy breakup story, you are welcome to come on Eric Johnston Live with Michael Moses and I will kind of do a quick little interview uh, <laughs> of you and of your story. Uh, we have some people who messaged me today and they're like, I want to be part of the show, but... Uh, someone's like, but there's still a legal case going on. So I can't really tell the story. I'm like, okay, that's a serious one. And then another person was like, there's still like, I, I'm, it could, they potentially are a stalker and I don't want to let them know that I still care about them. I'm like, okay, that's a good one. And then people just straight up don't want to talk about their exes, although they have amazing stories. Uh, people are afraid of their exes. So uh, that's okay. Uh, Moses and I could fill a show just ourselves with our, with our lives. Uh, but again, if you can see me right now, if someone has shared this, I see that some friends, uh, Dave Diedrich has uh, shared it already. My buddy Chuck has shared it already. If you're watching right now and you can see me, please share this show. It going, it, it going to be a juicy one. I can tell you that. Uh, they're going to have lots of breakup stories. My friend Luigi uh, just shared uh, the stream, so I appreciate all of you. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's some, my, my friends of mine, uh, a friend of mine who was going to come on the show. I think, I think we should all start a chant that Josie comes on the show and tells her story. Uh, Josie, the link is in the comments. I would love to hear your story. Simon Rakoff, legendary Canadian comedian, very good friend of mine, uh, is watching along. Uh, hi, Simon. Good to see you. Uh, I hope to see you when this is all over. And Simon, if you have a breakup story, I know you've been married for a long time or were married. I, I don't know. You have, you have a wife. Do you have a wife? I feel like we talked about this. Anyways, you definitely have a, a you definitely have a child. So I'm sure if you have a story, you can you're welcome to join the stream. Um, and uh, uh, I will again post the stream streamyard.com slash grizzle sixon grizzle sixon is the link. Click on it. All you need to do is allow access to your uh, microphone into your camera on your phone, and you can come 
Uh, see, Simon, I knew you uh, You have he has two ex-wives, which would make you perfect for the show. Simon, if you want to come on, click on the link. Uh, you're welcome to join us. Now, I'm going to get the show started here on Eric Johnson Live. I'm about to bring on our, our, our co-host, our special guest, uh, one of my very uh, best friends in the world. His name is Michael Moses. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to play a small clip of his, uh, one of my favorite jokes of his, just so you can become acquainted with my very good friend, Michael Moses. Uh, and uh, here we go. So just, I'm going to introduce you introduce you guys to uh, Michael Moses, everyone. Come on out of here. <laughs> that's crazy. But that's how she tries to get me to do stuff. She tries to fill me with pride. Because the other day she came up to me and she goes, hey, Michael, you hear about this Colin Kaepernick guy? And I was like, yeah, two years ago. And she was like, sorry, white privilege. And I was like, okay, what about him, right? And if you don't know who Colin Kaepernick is, he's an NFL player that took the knee during the national anthem to protest police brutality against minorities, right? So my girlfriend, she knows I'm black. So she comes up to me, right? And she goes, hey, Michael, you hear about this Colin Kaepernick guy? And I was like, yeah, what about him? And she's like, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to get on one knee for something you believe in, Michael. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he got on one knee, but guess what? It ruined his life. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Michael Moses, and he's here for you now. Please welcome Eric Johnson live. My very good friend, Michael Moses, everybody. Hey, dude. Yo, what's up? Thanks for the love, man. Thanks for showing that it's clip, yo. It's People go favorite. subscribe already. <laughs> People good. there. Go to subscribe on uh, Michael Moses' YouTube channel. He's one of those. He's a content king. Yeah. He's always putting up Damn videos. I'm, I'm out here for you, people. Give me that content. That's good. Uh, welcome to the show, dude. I wanted to, I had you on. Thanks for having me. I had me you on one of my live shows with or like week one of the quarantine when I didn't even know how to hold up my phone. Uh, look at you now, bro. Look at me now. Yeah, I've got a, really I've got a studio space. I've got a, a professional microphone. Larry David, uh, from, picture of my own face. Bill Goldberg. Just, yeah. Man, I knew you were doing that. I had to get my own setup. You see what I got going on? The <laughs> yeah, well, you get I get get better lighting. Uh, I can yeah, see. I do. What, are those all your favorite movies? <laughs> Look, I got some. I'll show you, man. Look, okay. I got right in the backward. You got the the wire, Eastbound and Down, Californication, right? We got some books and some drawing. Bad Boys two, one and two, right? Oh, Martin, yeah. All right, show love to Patrice right here. Yeah. Uh, so art. I'm not giving a fuck. You know, I got uh, Steve Martin's Born Standing Up. I got got a plant, you know, and I got Goofy right there. Oh shit! All right, All I got a little figurine. You. Yeah, for sure, bro. I, now, I got the setup. Uh, Simon Rakoff. It does better lighting. Simon Simon Rakoff says, "Hey, Michael. You know Simon very well." Uh, Karina yeah, says, "Hi." Uh, there's a bunch Hi. of people watching already, and I'm gonna remind everyone Good. that the the stream yard stream to join this stream. We're talking about breakups tonight if you want to come mm -hmm. on and share your story we'd love to have you on now we're going to go back to uh bad boys because i want to tell everyone about our first play yeah. date uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> michael That's moses and i uh we became uh friends at the vancouver film school we we're both attending the acting for film and television program that's uh, right we're killing it acting right now bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're both killer, killer <laughs> actors i did one big tv like, show right. and then nothing ever yeah. again a couple yeah, commercials I mean, where i'm shirtless but. i I did. I did a, a source commercial that was good. Oh, you know? I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Look, at, we're on our way up, man. That tuition paid off. <laughs> um, <laughs> we did it, and we met in that school. And the first time we ever met, actually, we should say this: uh, the first time I ever interacted with you, I gave you a massage. Now, yes. <laughs> now that needs <laughs> explained. To be explained more. <laughs> we were in a breath and body class. See, when you're in film school or theater okay. school. Uh, you have to uh, get in touch with your body and who you are as a person. Uh, I was right. 20 years old at the time, and I didn't give a shit about my body. I was drinking and, and partying and and uh, thought I was a movie star. Uh, and yeah, you're in Vancouver going trying to I was, cause some mischief I was, already. Yeah, yeah, I was in Vancouver in my own apartment, 20 years old, and I had a $50,000 <laughs> line of credit. So oh, oh, I was yeah. ready to <laughs> ready to rock rock and roll yeah, yeah. yeah now uh hold on before we go on nathan says what's going on fellas 
Nathan, I'm telling What's our up, backstory Nathan? how we became friends. Nathan, uh, Nathan actually has a very interesting workplace, and I'm thinking that he might have some breakup stories where he works. So, Nathan, like I said before, uh, the stream uh, yard stream to get onto the show tonight. If you want to be a guest on the show, dude, I'd love to have you on. Even if it's on a breakup story, even if it's like if it's like a couple story that gone bad, I would love to hear it because he is a very interesting uh, mm-hmm. job that he could tell us all about. He, well, I'll tell you, he works at the Snag mm-hmm. Shop. He's like a high and uh, okay. like a manager at the stag shop the stag and shop. uh yeah. so he's got some stories cat says yo oh, how's yeah. it going oh, um on. now what so we, i had to, what happened was we were in the uh, breath and body class learning about who we are as people and uh and uh we had to pair up and we had to touch each other <laughs> and then yeah. you had to lay down and i had to give you a massage and you had to give well, me, a massage. me a massage yeah <laughs> And it was like I don't even uh, I don't even remember how that why that was part of the program, but that's literally I, I, how we met. I don't even know how we got teamed up. People probably like you're you're like when you first meet you, you're like a, a big like guy, right? Mm-hmm. Like to, when I remember when you first stood up, like just to introduce yourself, not before that class, I was like just like you're just bigger than everybody, right? <laughs> and, physically, yes, and not like yeah, physically, like and not like you know like blah boy, but like a imposing oh shit. Uh, I'm not so, in his. I'm not in. I'm not in his weight class. You know, <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me with the small Asian people. Uh, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, we saw you, and then like you know, we we're in that. Hey, now we're in the class, and you're gonna massage each other, and everybody's <laughs> looking around, and probably looking at your big hands, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I think we're standing next to each other. Hey, I'm like, yeah, all right, me and you, I guess, right? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're like, okay, yeah. go ahead. So I was like, literally, like. <laughs> Hey, I'm Eric. I'm I'm from mm-hmm. Hamilton. And you're like, hey, I'm Michael. I'm from Lethbridge, mm-hmm. Coldale, Alberta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, I guess oh, lay down. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go I was first. Like, do I get go naked first? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I really do prefer a massage with my shirt off. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, it's I don't know about the Titan here. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. That was our first kind of interaction, but then I remember after the wow. class, I felt empty without you touching me, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. I'm like, do you want to like come to my apartment and watch a, a movie or yeah. something? <laughs> yeah, I'll, you 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 sit on the couch. I'll sit down in front of you between your legs. <laughs> hit me with the hit me with hit me on those shoulders again. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, so I the reason why I brought up this whole story is because the first movie we ever watched was Bad uh, Boys 2. Bad Boys. Yeah, and we there both we just yeah. sat there just kind of not talking. Mm-hmm. I mean the movie was on, no. but it was a no. weird uh, yeah, here's yeah, the yeah. thing. You grew up in a small town. I grew up in a smaller no. town of Hamilton in yeah, Stony we were, Creek. Right. Your friends are just your friends. You never really had to yeah. make friends. And I didn't really know no, how to no, do no. that. And to be no, honest, not at all, man. I was like, how do I be friends with a black guy? I'll say it. There was one in my high school. And I was like, what do I do? How will we connect? And yeah. so I was like, you came over and I put on bad boys. Bad boys. Yo, like, man, okay. You knew it. You knew, knew me black right away. Bro. And then you were yeah. like, you were like, that's my favorite movie. And I was like, okay, got one score. I got Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Man, uh, Will Smith is like the in, like, for if you're trying to get like a black friend, just start with Will Smith and then go he's from the there. bridge Don't for start. white people. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the bridge. Don't start like on a heavy <laughs> rapper or anything. Just start with, uh, hey, Fresh Prince uh, or, and then, or Bad Boys. <laughs> and then go from there. And you hit it. You hit the nail on the head. Bro. And I was right. I was, I was like, 100% right. Awesome. Uh, some Damn, more, some right. more people have come on. Uh, yeah, our friend Matt was is on here. Both, yo, Matt, That's, what's up? It's funny yeah. how the funniest part about Hamilton mm-hmm. is you moved here years ago, but I've lived here my entire yeah. life, and yeah, and people not a lot people know our backstory. How we've been best right. friends, best really good friends, and, and best friends and best comedy friends since two thousand ten. Yeah. Right, but then you moved here, and people just assume that you were just like a mm-hmm. Hamilton guy. So Guy, I right, like, yeah, yeah. So people like Matt, or there was some other couple people like that Roxanne girl and stuff. They're like, "Hey, I know this comedian, yeah. Michael Moses." Yeah, and I'm like, "That's a, my fucking friend." I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I the one who I can him to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're gonna meet this I comedian. I know. I know, man. It's uh, it's funny. Uh, somebody else said that from uh, from Stony Creek. They're like, "Man, Moses, you have all like a lot of mutual friends with me." 
that like are almost outside of Eric, like yeah. that are like, how did, and it's always a hot girl. <laughs> I'm <just> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Stony Creek, man. Uh, came to the, came, came to, to a party, couple of my birthday them parties, all. Yeah. Birthday parties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got all the Instagram handles. Yeah. Uh, so a couple of people, people are saying hi to each other. Anthony Stark, who just bought a bullet shirt the other day. <laughs> He's saying hi to his friend Chris, who's also watching. <laughs> Moses, nice. yo, how's it going? <laughs> um, Nathan, how's yeah, that 100%. So he has some stories. So Nathan, <laughs> if you want to nice. come on the show and talk breakups we should get into this this yes. this actual what we're doing not reminiscing uh but i will there say quickly uh when i tell the story of how i started stand-up comedy uh i say i had a friend who i went to school with and he said we're going to this open mic comedy night you should come you were right. that friend there we go man you yeah, were i remember that room bro the, man yeah. the kingston hotel i mean it's not even there no stage nothing foosball tables down there oh shit oh yeah dude i, I always intend on like, I going to check to, it out yeah i always whenever time i'm back in van on tour i'm always like i'm gonna go mm. back to where i started and i just mm. never go right. i went i went for a drink you know and just to see it and i, I asked the like bartender i'm like yo do you comedy here you remember that she's like i don't know she <laughs> yeah. hasn't done that in a long time she doesn't even remember she, had, she wasn't working there she had no idea right i go down it's just foosball tables it's, it feels like you're getting into it now you know yeah when the place, yeah. You, when the place you first started has no idea that it, comedy comedy even existed there at one yeah. point you're yeah. like oh shit i'm in it i'm getting like more and more we're in both, it now we're both at 10 years we're both yeah. uh, approaching years you were a couple months ahead of me um, yeah. and i'll be 10 years on november 1st 2020 uh although yeah. my last my nine year anniversary I celebrated in the middle of a national headlining comedy tour i'll probably <laughs> celebrate my 10 year anniversary sitting in my mom's house being like so what's the deal with eric johnson live because we can't yeah. tour anymore <laughs> Yeah, um, I tried to book some shows. They got canceled. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to stay all inside. My, <laughs> everything is canceled for me until September. Yeah. Even even September yeah. stuff. People are like, "Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Okay." Yeah. It's it's such a like thing. You just look at your calendar of a date coming up, and you know the producer doesn't even have to message you. Like producers don't even have oh, to yeah. message anymore. They're, you just know it's canceled. Yeah, like I had I had May May seventeenth. I was supposed to headline this massive show in Detroit, and I didn't. The guy didn't message right. me. I didn't get. He it was just an understanding. He's not fucking coming right. to the show unless yeah, they did yeah, it without yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, underground, but I wouldn't Man. have been able to, even if they were running the show still, like if they were very American right. about it and be like, we deserve the right to do comedy. I, the border's right. closed. I couldn't even go. Yeah. So. Okay. So before we okay. get into the actual, the, the chunk of the show this evening, the real reason why we're all here talking about breakups, I'm going to remind everyone uh to please share this stream if you can see me right now i can see a lot of friends uh who have come back and shared it again my friend chad has shared it like i said dave has shared it chuck has shared it luigi has shared it uh if you can see me right now please share this stream with michael moses and i i have a feeling things are going to get uh, a juicy and uh and like i said before i'm going to put it again in the comments uh, if you want to join this stream, if you've got a juicy breakup story, we'd love to have a third in here. Uh, my friend James just shared it. Uh, yeah. So if you need to, if you have a story to tell about a breakup story, I'd love for you to come on the show this evening. Uh, I'm going to go into the comments here. I'm going to drop the link one more time. Uh, and if you want to come in and tell a breakup story or even just a bad fight story, we'll take those tonight too, because everyone wants to talk about relationships. Everyone voted for this fucking show. And I'm like, tell on and come no. on and come on and be part of the show. They're like, yeah, no. I'm like, okay. Nah, no. Moses <laughs> has no shame. Let's fucking yeah, do yeah, it. No. Uh, yeah. Dave, if you want to come on, Dave's more like one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He probably doesn't have a bad breakup story, but he wants to come on and promote his business I, and tell a breakup I, story. I know Dave. I recognize that mm -hmm. last name. I know Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah know very Dave. nice. He's a Stony Creek, another Stony Creek guy that you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. We need to we need to get into your life now. I need I'll yeah. just say this, and I know you're in a very happy, healthy relationship now with a woman yeah, that, you, that yeah, you love yeah. very much. But I will mm -hmm. say that uh, when you first moved to Hamilton, with a little help from me, I'll say, right. of course, I, you know, I, little, introducing you to little the mentorship, circle. little me <laughs> yeah. yeah, bringing you in, showing you what Hess Village was, what a uh, show me the bar, uh, yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah. Uh, your my my kind of my Mac my Mac style. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. something, <laughs> yeah, 
that out. Yeah. It's just like you would see me do it, Shay. Again, anyone watching, I was in my early 20s when this was happening. Uh, yeah. But uh, mid 20s. Anyways, I was like, you got to come to Hamilton. This is what you're going to do. You're going to take care. And then you kind of just, in a very Moses way, just was like, okay, here's what I need to know. I got it from here. Got and it. Just, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Fuck off. And you yeah. dated and yeah. saw and, and experienced. <laughs> Way you showed more. me the cl- yeah. You showed me like the cliff, and I'm like, I know how to jump off of that, you know. And I grew, <laughs> I grew, and I grew my own re- wings, you know. I'm like, I, I, as long as that you showed me where the cliff to jump is, this I know is how to grow their wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bye, <laughs> bye, yeah, yeah. Just to say, you had a couple relationships in your time. Can you yeah, think of all for- any crazy breakup stories that that you can think of? Um, well, like, uh, I don't know. This is like one of like, this is a girl that I broke up with multiple times. Like it was boom, break up. But this is just one of the times. Right. Uh, and it was just like, you know, that feeling came, you know, she, she, she's not texting me like she used to. Right. You know, whatever. Uh, it's not happening like it used to. Like, I just, that vibe is there that it, like something it's wrong. It's mm-hmm. going to end and it's going on and you're going through your day. And I'm like going to a show and just like, you know, but I'm not trying to text and, you know, she's not hitting me up and I just know what it is. And, and it's happened before. So you're like, all right, we'll go through this shit. You know, something happened. And I go, I'm at the show and I'm chilling, but go on. And then I get a call. She calls me. So I'm, I fucking pick that up quick. I'm up, run down the stairs. I'm outside in the cold. I'm in the cold. Just like, hey, what's up? Uh, you know, she talked to me. She goes, you know, what's up? And this was like after Christmas break. Uh, just it was like a January, February. And okay. she goes, yeah, she goes. Yeah, you know Christmas part. Like she goes, I cheated on you, right? Oh. Yeah, she goes, I cheated on you, and I go, okay. Um, you know, what? I, I got to tell you, I cheated on you too. Oh, and she, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go, I go, I go, I cheat on you too when I was back home. Uh, you know, with uh, like for Christmas, and she goes, No, you didn't. She goes, she goes, no, you didn't. You're just saying that because I said I cheated on you. And I got it in my head. I'm like, oh, Scott free. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, yeah. like the guilt. No, I'm like, all right, no guilt now. Like, no, you know, like if you don't believe me, I'm not going to pre- like press. No, I did cheat. What? You don't think I could cheat? You're like, here's you know, her like, name. This is where it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll get her on the phone right now. Three way call this, you know, to uh, let her know. But she goes, uh, uh, like, oh, I cheated, but she didn't believe me that I cheated. And I was like, okay, fine. But she goes, I cheated. She goes, you know what it is? Like, high, like Christmas parties, high school vibes, the guys and girls from high school are there. You know what it is. I'm like, I, yeah, I understand that. That's what just happened to me. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. but like, you don't want to believe that. Yeah. 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 But you don't want to believe that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> then there's like a pause. And then she goes, so what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, I, I'm like, it's done. I'm like, we're done. I just go, it's over. She's like, is it like, is, it's over? She goes, she starts crying. She goes, no, like, she's just trying to get back. I'm like, ah, nah, I didn't mean to, you know, high school vibes, high school vibes, uh, <laughs> and just crying. And I go, nah, I think it's, I, it's done. And then I just hang up the phone. Walk back upstairs to do the yeah, show. And they're like, ladies you know, and gentlemen, Michael yeah, Moses. Yeah, yeah. Moses. Yeah, what's up? Yo, like, well, girls, so <laughs> newly single. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's funny because it's terrible double standards exist. Right. I'm sorry. They exist. Uh, girls, you have ones that favor you and, and vice versa. Um, it's funny how when you told that story, it was like if 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 you just cheated – and she right. was like, okay, but I understand your high school vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Right, right. And then we'll stay together. Mm-hmm. You would be like, okay, well, I guess we could work yeah. on it. But because she <laughs> cheated, <laughs> cheated. Like, yeah, yeah. What? what? You cheated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's, awful. yeah. I don't believe it. I've never, I've never yeah, cheated. Yeah. I've been tempted on the road. No. Uh, I, you know, whatever. I think no. there's, there's, says, there's levels of cheating. Some, a great yeah. girlfriend would be like, <laughs> if you talk to those, that group of girls in the lobby of your oh, show after the bar, that's cheating. Right. Oh, that's me. That's working. That's my work. Uh, yeah. 
if I fuck one of them, then uh, <laughs> you have a yeah, very yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. funny. Wait, wait, wait till later to see if I get a DM slide to see if it's she. Don't, yeah. no, don't talk. Don't tell Chin this is talking. Wait till I, if I get a DM slide. Then maybe. I'm like, just because yeah. I hand out cards that have my Instagram on, on it. Follow me. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't mean that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think there's that side of it. And also, so I had one. I have a similar story. You actually struck a story in my head. <laughs> There we go. Uh, it's all relatable. You're, not, you're yeah. never alone. Yeah, you're not no. going through nothing by it yourself. Is, yeah, everyone's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know. But it's like I've done that. Yeah, I, I, I've done yeah. So many of these, not so many of these shows, but just in conversation in this show, right. in my comedy act, where everyone's like revealing something that they're like, oh, I don't know, like this could be oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like eight people be like, yeah, I've done that. I've told that. <laughs> like, that's, that's, yeah. that's been it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, I don't know what Josie's laughing at, but she's laughing. People are laughing. She, oh, she mm -hmm. wants, uh, Coco Scott wants to know if you guys fist bumped after you guys agreed that you both cheated. It was on the phone. So <laughs> oh, it was on the phone. <laughs> that would <laughs> good. Yo, respect. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, nice. right, You're high school vibes. <laughs> I understand. You're out of here. Yeah. Yeah. High school vibes are huge, but, um, mm. but yeah, I had a girl, I was seeing a girl rate rate actually as I was on my last East coast tour and right. uh, we were like, we weren't official or anything, but we were definitely spending a lot of time together. And we went, yeah. it, it was just a, it was more than just a thing. Um, it's right. It was more, yeah, it was more than just, Hey, we're friends hanging out and, and having sex. Sometimes we were like, I think we were like seeing each other. I like, told my sister about her and stuff. And like, it was, we're, we're figuring it out. We're yeah. We're in, yeah. It, it, in the, in the, the kids are calling it these, they're checking, they're checking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Checking to see if they, so I, I saw, we were seeing each other. And when I'm on the road, I respect that. Plus, I mean, on the East coast, even if I wasn't respecting that, there wasn't that many options. Uh, oh really? Oh man, I I heard uh, somebody else said it like uh, they were talking about, like a story comedian go out there and he goes, man. And I've heard stories, and even for myself, man, the East Coast is where you get it the most. Oh, like, there's, sure. maybe not that many, there's not that many options, but maybe you, I think that's where the girl, like the, the the crowds are like some of the best, and then the girls are some of the easiest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe I'm just ugly. Uh, no, <laughs> no, you no, know no, what? It was, uh, I was also no, no, you, but you're uh, but. Where, where, where was it? Like, was it a small town? Was uh, it the... Well, I was in Fredericton at, when this story takes place, but uh, okay, I was maybe, like Fredericton. Yeah. Maybe Fredericton's fun. Halifax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Halifax is great. Yeah. But Hall maybe I, the other, maybe the other places are shit. For now. My issue with hooking up with chicks on the road is I, 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 you have to kind of be in a place for more than a day for you to get mm. something. Like yes. where, you know, where you know you're not getting catfish, you know she doesn't have seven kids, you know right. you know right. you, you there's some checks that I have to check. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that you can't do that in a day. I mean, sometimes. I mean, I've been on the road a long time, but generally, yeah. I like to be in a place for more than three days before I take that level. Really? Oh, okay. You like building mini relationships for your one night stand. Dude, I'm a you know, you're like, I need to know. I'm a lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a lover, bro. You're like, I, I need to build this. We had something special, and it would have worked <laughs> out if I wasn't flying yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, you always have an exit, right? But, um, <laughs> yeah, but. I, the girl I, I was we were even like talking on the phone that level of serious like i'd call her when i get back right. to the rooms and stuff right. and uh she was like uh hey like how you doing blah 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 blah. what's going on how was your day and i'm like good you know what happened to you she's like oh my ex came over i'm like oh okay <laughs> she's yeah, like yeah, yeah. she's like uh yeah he just came over for a bit i'm like Okay, and she's like, yeah. yeah. I'm, like, I'll, I'm like, what happened? She's like, I don't know. He just kind of has his power over me. Where he comes back, mm -hmm. and she just swear to God, we're for it. Where he comes back, and yeah. uh, he tells me that he's gonna change. He convinces me for a while, and then we have sex, and then he leaves, and then he doesn't make any. Right. And I was like, right. so did that happen today? <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> would you be mad if it did? I'm it like. Did, uh... Uh yeah. Uh, yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah. okay, and then she just stopped talking, and I was like, okay, so that happened today. <laughs> and she's like, oh wow, yeah. That's just 
That's big. You know what is so funny? You like you warmed her up for that dude. Yeah, no. I don't uh, you, like, like uh sorry, I have to open the door for some <laughs> after it's it's a quiet on set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were just but, leaving. Uh, Jason Allen went for a smoke yeah. in the middle of one of these. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah, no, I'm good. But I'm just like, but like, like it happened today, but you were probably, were you talking to her throughout that day? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so she, you like gave her that emotional connection, right? Yeah. That was so good that now she needed a physical place to put that energy. Yeah. And the X, and X, the X, the X got yours, man. The X got your work. <laughs> I was Bro, like, like, and she's like, "Are you mad?" I'm like, "Yeah, no. I'm mad." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what yeah. does this mean? I'm like, "It's done. It's over. What are you talking about?" And yeah, then, yeah. Tell tell him that you're fucking me with his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a quote. That's a quotable sentence. Yeah. <laughs> you tell him. Yeah. <laughs> you have to like wait. Okay, I'm saying this right. Yeah. There yeah. You, go. you tell yeah. him. That you're fucking me. <laughs> no, fuck <it. laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, so that was it, and I was just like, okay, we're broken no, up. Well, it. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, that's an easy breakup. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Joe, was yeah. Me talking to girls isn't cheating. It, it's my work. But if I fuck one of them, <laughs> yeah, see that? <laughs> yeah. that is. Uh, yo, man. Oh, here's a story. So you know, you know Rachel from Sidebar. You know Rachel. I do know Rachel. I've been yeah, calling I her Rochelle for like twelve years. And she's Man, when you put that A E L in a Rachel, like, like, her parents yeah. fucked it up for her. Her parents <laughs> fucked it up for her. Yeah, it's a, it's a roll calling, of the dice. I've been calling her Rochelle for like twelve years, and she's never yeah. corrected me until last time she commented on the show. And I'm like, Rochelle says this. Rochelle says that. <laughs> and then she messaged oh, me. Just, like, you know my name's Rachel, right? I'm like, ah, uh, no, uh, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> for for a long time. That's like five years. <laughs> yeah, at least. Um. But yeah, so anyways, she says, guys, complex ex- explanations of relationship status. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, we weren't together, but we were together. Yeah, we were right, right. But then, yeah, after that, after we broke up, then I put my focus back on single Eric Johnson tour mode. But uh, still, still, nothing, sure. still nothing happened. But Not my that. intentions were good. I feel like, like we're, I feel like. Like just keeping that girl, on, like you, you want to have that little relationship in each town. That's what you're trying to hook up. You're like, I'm trying to hook up a tour and come back, but I also want a girl. I always come back to as I'm well. Also wanting a, a girl player. always waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, I need to. Secure, I need to secure a couch or bed. Depends on. How <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, have you um, ever? Have you like the, the the your your current girlfriend, who everyone loves, Kim? Kim just yeah, making yeah. cameos with Matt. Uh, your current girlfriend, who everyone loves, I should I should stop saying current because it's I think it's forever. You guys mad love each other, you live together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's you good. It's good. Niagara Falls for her, so that's good. Yeah, I'm and, out here, man, I in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you left. You came from Hamilton, Scotland, <laughs> to Niagara Falls farm boy in like a year. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so, doing doing hard work with my hands and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, build, building a house together. So, yeah, you're, you're done. I'd say you're done, but uh, I'm done, done. But I had a good run. Thank you oh, for. Yeah. You know, man. I I, 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 showed I, I had I, I had some good flight. Now my I still I still got the wings, but they're like clipped a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're one yeah, of those yeah. birds now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sing, uh, singing canary. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd say uh, that yeah, like I said, you're done. Was there ever a situation in your in your dating? Game? Tell Kim to stop doing dishes in the background, please. Uh, hey, hey, yo, they can, everybody can hear you. <laughs> See? I'm serious. I said quiet on set. You know what that means. <laughs> That's my nice. She, I, I did that. I was filming something. I'm filming like a show or something. I go quiet on set. And she go, and then after she goes, you know what? That's a nice way to tell me to shut up. Keep doing that. Because <laughs> yeah. usually I'd be like, yo, shut up. No, quiet, you know? But now I'm like, no, I'm like, hey, quiet on set. She's like, I like that. Yeah, yeah. well, she didn't listen to it. She's already forgotten the rule. No. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, we'll talk. She tells you just come on the show. She can be, she can be a guest on the show. <laughs> oh, no, Turn no. the microwave She's on. Up. That's fine. <laughs> you can hear everything, man. <laughs> Tell her to come say hi, at least. For no, no. 
<laughs> this is I, 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 everybody doesn't know the name, but like I try to keep it off camera. You know, even like on the videos I have with her, I just cover up her face. You know, yeah, that's for, smart. <laughs> for, for, a little bit of privacy in your relationship, right? Especially when you're trying to be somebody who's so social with this stuff. You know, yeah, that's out here with your stu- your life, you gotta have a little, uh, you know, little. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're privacy, watching a little. live breakup on the breakup episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, like, trying, I I'm trying to eat the food you cooked for me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you left me these leftovers. It's great. Uh, I'm trying to warm it up. That's yeah. fine. She needed another thirty seconds on it. That's cool. Um, so my question. Uh, <laughs> this it's a, man. It's amazing sound quality that you can like really hear that. that yeah, clip. I, I can. Probably, I've never been to your house, but I can picture how it's laid out, and I know exactly where she is right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah so on the show the other night uh, uh darren henwood from montreal cracked a broke a wine glass with his teeth and his girl oh, at him in the background and it's like now we're gonna have two guest deaths in one week first the glass now, now the microwave fight <laughs> so my question was, before, yes. before uh, kim started heating up a rice bowl um yeah was there a time that comedy got in the way of a relationship where a girl either didn't want to date a comedian or date someone who was always on the road or just date a guy who was always out and in and around people? Did that ever get in your way? Uh, not in this <laughs> Sorry. relationship. She goes, not in this one ever. No, she's very supportive. And that, you know. No, uh, no, for real, not in this uh, relationship. Oh, You're making me big, big support. Okay, so my, no big supporter, big, uh, no, not not in this one. She wants me to perform like she's one of the best. Like, yeah. really, I think that's why it's gonna work because because you hear those all the time. Like we broke up comedy, they got in the way of this and got in the way of that man. But no, I have just great stories. Like I uh, just great stories of her support with me. Like I was, I had a set where it was like I was middle and started doing twenty minutes. First twenty minutes solid, right? Doing well, fun. and then a switch. Ted last ten minutes bomb bombed so hard where i had to stop and i was like in the and the crowd and like even there was another friend there and like i did a joke and he's laughing at me bombing and two oh. people like tur- people two people turned around at him and went why are you laughing that's not funny like they were so upset at him for laughing but he's like no i'm laughing at him because he's bombing not because <laughs> uh, that it's a funny joke right but then, like, even, like, somebody else yelled out, I saw you in Toronto once. You were awesome, <laughs> right? Like, that's how bad. Like, that, like that. the bomb was just like, I, I can't. Like, the bomb was like, I have, I think, three more minutes, and I think I just have to stand here because I, you guys just don't like me. So I, I get off stage, right, and, uh, she, like, she's not there. Like, she, like, went into the, this is at the, the old yucks, like, levity now. But she goes back. And, and then uh, she, she comes back, and all she has, she has a beer for me and a beer for my friend. And she uh, just gives, she just, and she just gives me the beer, and she just gives uh uh, uh Joe the uh, Joe Patello the beer. Joe yeah. says hi. By the way, he saw you on concession, I guess, the oh, other day. Yeah, he goes, I, he, yeah, he goes, oh, I saw Eric. Uh, yeah, he, it was very nice to see him. <laughs> you know, like oh, everybody's good. missing. Everybody just missing comedy so much that they're like, I saw Eric on concession. That was nice. <laughs> but yeah, she gave Joe a beer, and uh, you know, so but, but bigger supporter. Like even like I uh got off stage one night and I was just like kind of fucking around on stage and like, and then I got off stage and she looked at me and she goes, what the fuck are you doing? Right. And I go, and it was just like one of these shows that kept up, like got pushed back. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, it got pushed back in time. It's starting later. Comic. Now he's got a lot of comics on and he's giving them unlimited time, not lighting. I'm supposed to be cl- like headlining it, right. Oh, closing it up, but yeah. it doesn't pay. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't pay. So then another comic, I'm just like, do you just, and I, I'm watching people leave. And I'm just like, oh, oh my God, no. I'm just getting that feeling, right? I'm just getting that feeling. I'm like, ah, oh, man, I just want to get up there. Because I know I'm going to do well. Like, it's just one of those rooms. I'm like, I'll do fine. Yeah. But I'm just watching these other, you know, people walk because of these other comics. And so I'm just like in that mood. And then I like I convince the other comic to go up last. And I, go up, and I just go up and I'm fucking around and getting laughs. And it's good. But I get off stage and she goes, what was that? And I'm just, I told her all this stuff. It was late. She goes, I don't give a fuck. If there's two people in the room, you give it everything you fucking got. All right. Uh, you don't do that shit. You don't fucking put, you don't push a foot around. And you were supposed to be headlining this shit. I don't care, Michael. You, you the headliner. You treat yourself like a headliner. You're a headliner. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. I love you. Like, you know, so <laughs> yeah. she's been good. She's been, uh, she's been real good. Uh, but there's been other relationships. Like, cause like the, I think 
Uh, the fact like I like the one of my things I put towards getting so like getting good and improving is I used to be able to do the guest spots at Yucks yeah all the time yeah. right and and I was there every weekend every weekend every weekend and you tell the people that used to work there I'd bring a different girl like almost every weekend right yeah, I think I remember but, that but then there was but but there was one girl that would always like come down and she like lived in St Catharines so and she would come. And I would go there, but I would, yeah, I'd be like, all right, let's hang out, but I'm going to do a set first. I'm going to do this. I'm going to pop through this five and yeah. then we'll do this. I'm going to yeah. pop through this five, then do this. I'm going to pop through this five at Yucks and then we'll go do this. Yeah. yeah. And, if, and then she goes and then, she, yeah, straight just to classic hit me up. Like, you always do comedy. Can we have a date night where you don't do comedy? You're right. Like, no. And then we, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I did. I think, man, I think I did like, it was like one, but like, it was like, I think I planned it so it was like early, right? Like it was probably like one of these nights where I knew there was a late show, like a 10 o'clock, 10 mm-hmm. yeah, So yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'll go to dinner for with you at seven, right? <laughs> You're like, you and we'll what? just do now. dinner. Can we yeah, go we'll just, <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, 5 30, we'll just do dinner now and then we'll say goodbye and yeah, it's a day without comedy. And then I go do comedy afterwards. But uh, yeah, she hit me with up with like, and that was it. It was just like, yeah, he, I did too much, you know, comedy and everything was comedy. There was no date night without comedy. And she ended that. She's just like, I don't want it. And it was so funny. She's like, it was like our date that was going to be the date without comedy. And I'm walking away and I bump into a comic and start talking about oh, comedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, well, this, hey, this is, uh, this is like, and it was like, it was like, I almost knew it ended. She like knew it ended. I think we kind of said that at dinner. Yeah. And then, yeah, I guess it's kind of like a break. And then we walk away and then I go, oh, this is, uh, this is blah, blah, blah. I guess we're, we're breaking up right now, but you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll see you. you you're going to be at the 10 o'clock show. I'll see you there. You know? <laughs> it's funny yeah. when you're so addicted to this comedy game that we both are. Right. Uh, right. It's funny watching, uh, you know, I find this with previous relationships. I, I, I it's important now for me to, um, to, to be with someone who's supportive, and that's that's obviously huge because it's what we do. It's everything that we do. Yeah. Uh, but I've had in previous relationships where um, where the girl is really interested at first when they first see you mm-hmm. performing. That's a big oh, for them. That's a turn on. They see yes, like, yeah. oh, you're commanding the room. You're commanding the power. You're mm-hmm. commanding all that shit. And then yeah, yeah, they're like, okay, I'm into this. And you, I literally before. Like, I, yeah, before I'd have to be like, I know that you like this now, but right. you're not going to like it in two months. And they're like, no, yeah, yeah. no, I think it's so cool. I'm just like, listen, mm. you're not going to care. Yeah, you're yeah. Gonna well, be like, no. You're going again and you're going to be like, you're gone again. And you're going to be like, yeah. what you're doing again. When I'm in a town, yeah. I'm thinking, where can I get on stage? I'm like a heroin oh, addict. For sure. where I'm oh, like, for sure. Where... Where can I get my fix? Yeah, yeah. Hey, come visit my friends out. Where do they live? Is there is there comedy there? You looking for yeah, the yeah. local newspaper? Yeah. Is there a, is there an open mic? I'll go destroy an open mic yeah, in a city yeah. town where that's just music. But I just walk up. Hey, can I do comedy? They're like, Oh, we've never had that before. Kill it. Feel good about myself. Oh yeah. I'll go meet up with you and your aunt and uncle or your mom yeah. and dad. You're like, oh, your later your aunt and uncle live in the yeah. Skokas. There's no comedy yeah. up there. I'm not going. Yeah. Up there. Yeah, even like I like him now. And it's like she like doesn't even come to shows. I'm like, you've been to the shows. There's no, don't don't come. Yeah. Like, there's no yeah. point. There's no point. And she's like getting busy now. But like you, she used to come and I come. Out. I'm like, you don't have to come anymore. It's, um, it's over. Because I got you had some girls that come a lot, and you even see some girlfriends come to like open micer shows. And I'm like, this is yeah, not that, good. That doesn't last very long. It's funny <laughs> when no, a dude, and they're like, and they're to like, the open oh, mic, bro. To the to, to, to the like, open mic. <laughs> It's funny watching a girlfriend of a comedian realize the biggest realization that they make is that it's the same show every night. <laughs> oh, for really, sure. Unless you're really working on a new chunk of material, you're pretty yeah. much doing word for word every night. So, right, yeah. With a girl for like a month, by after that month, they're like, so it's Slipknot S's <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yeah. and the difference. Yeah. Girls and guys blacking out. And your mom's yeah. like, she literally can recite my act back to me. I, I you know it's funny because and then they can start reciting the other comedians. Oh act. yeah, yeah. And they watch one comedian go up on stage and they go, 
you telling this fucking joke again? You know, I've heard that. You, you know, we know some comics that have been in like that are in like solid relationships, and you, and they tell the stories of their girlfriends or wives going, "I fucking can't believe that dude's still doing it or oh, yeah. doing it, that, it, jo- it, doing it, that it, joke still or something." Too long when you're fucking <laughs> when your yeah. girlfriend can recite <laughs> someone else. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. But okay, I'm gonna remind everyone again: if you have a breakup story, uh, this is the stream yard link. Click on the thing. My Michael Moses are going to keep talking about mm. breakups. But I know there's some people out there who have literally messaged me all day. Like, I have a great one. I'm like, come on. They're like, I can't. Like, you got it. <laughs> so man, I, it's, it's tough, man. People don't want to talk about it. I tried to do like, they kind of did it like, you know, those, they did a show around uh, Valentine's Day, like roasting your ex. I wanted to do that. Like me and uh, like two other comics, we're going to do like a exes roast each other oh, or even a podcast yeah. like yeah, we were yeah. going to do a podcast like a really intricate one where like we talk to the the girl the ex-girlfriend we talk to the ex-boyfriend but separately right and then yeah. we cut it to, we'll cut it we'll cut it together after but we'll ask her what happened we'll ask him what happened oh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. and then, then then when you cut it together you'll kind of understand the story but man shit uh, yeah nobody okay. oh. turn you're all right we'll figure it out okay he's now he's gone forever <laughs> Uh, Rachel says, "How funny would it be if your if your own girl ruined your punchline? That actually has not happened to me, but I've seen. I had a girl actually. Well, Moses comes back to life here. Um, I had a girl. Not she came to the show, and she knew me, but then she got drunk and she was like heckling the other comedians. Uh, Moses is back. Turn it the other way, Moses. What happened?" I don't know. There, there you go. go. So I was just yeah, but like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. But no, no, I, you if you're telling, but like, yeah, we tried to do that, but nobody wants to. Exes are tough for no. people, man. Like, I, they I, don't I, want to roast their ex or see their ex or talk about it like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I thought about for tonight's episode having one of my ex girlfriends on the show, right? And you, like, you in the split <laughs> screen, her on one yeah. side, <laughs> and me on the other, and just I'm in the media. I'm just like. Ah! <laughs> you're like pushing, the, pushing you're this like, screen away yeah you're yeah, like the guy literally screen. on uh fucking roast battle he's like let's roast and like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah i th- i wanted to do that and everyone think yeah like just think like, that's a great guy i should have done that i should i wanted yeah. to do that but i only have no. two, i only have two real major exes no. right. one is, is i'm i've blocked her on everything and if she wants to contact me she's got to send a fucking carrier pigeon to try to get in contact <laughs> with me right. and then the other one uh right i can't contact her she has me blocked right. and everything and so right. i was like who the fuck am i gonna reach out to a girl that i dated for two weeks uh um, yeah yeah no and it's yeah. tough because even like they're like at the same time like you know if like i asked my one of my ex they're like ah maybe but also you're a comedian you're probably gonna eat me alive you <laughs> know like, yeah <laughs> well, like, yeah for sure but no, I, I think and it, it would be the best kind of stuff if you could get the actual ex on it. Like if, you know, instead of just talking about the stories, but get two couples that just broken up. But even like couples that broke up 10 years ago, you don't even talk to that person. So why even bring that up? People yeah, are like, I don't, yeah. ah, like why it. even why even go back to that? Because that was 10 years ago. Like a year is too fresh for some people. And yeah. Everything. yeah, I yeah. think I think the issue is it's either too far out where it's like, what's the point? Or it's too fresh where people are like, fuck right that. yeah uh, yeah exactly yeah i think you should, yeah emma says uh i feel like you need to be distant exes uh i i agree i think you need to be somewhat distant where the heat's off i said this on last right. week's show on the la- on the getting in relationships the only way couples can be friends post breakup is one of two ways if right. they were the only way the only two i don't know what the quote i read was the uh Ex exes who can all who can be friends after are one of two things: either they are still in love or they never right. were. Those are the only right. two people yeah. who can be very smart. Yes, in yes. Rela- post relationship friendships. Yeah. I know some people yes. who are friends with their exes. I know some people who are friends with their exes be because they dated for so long that all their friends are intertwined. They yeah, you can't break that each up. Other yeah. like shit. Um. And uh, <laughs> Rachel says, hold the Zoom meeting with all the people you've DM'd at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To... I'm getting better yeah. at not doing that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Josie says she hates that when they're intertwined. You... Josie, fucking come on the show. Uh, Josie uh, has amazing 
breakup story. She knows the link to get on the show. Come on, it's Josie. Hilarious. Everyone in the comments, if you can see me right now and you want Josie to come on the show, she has one of the funniest breakup stories I've ever heard. She told it to me recently. I'm like, you have to come on the show. And she's like, I can't. It's too <laughs> dramatic. Okay, you, okay, don't tell that one. You can tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments go like, Josie, Josie, Josie. And yeah. I, know, I know Coco Scott has a good breakup story too. So uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, Barb has oh, one. Was, a bit. Okay, yeah. And also, people, yeah. if you want to come on and you want to call, we'll just them, read them out. Yeah. <laughs> I was dating and living a guy. We mutually said to break up and date other people. One evening, we got home and found both his girlfriend and my girlfriend together in his room. But 17 years later, we are still friends. That's why. <laughs> what are you guys <laughs> <That's so wild. laughs> Like all four of you are best friends? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's. I think that's what happens. Yeah, those two probably ended up getting married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd you meet? Well, I was dating the roommate, uh, dating the other ex, and we fucked because they weren't home. And that is fucking wow. crazy. Uh, so Josie, I think Jill, Josie's gonna come on. She's gonna tell a different awesome. one. Uh, awesome. And Emma, if you want to come on, uh, Emma's a great fan of the show. We need a woman's perspective, perspective right oh, now. Perspective. We're just two dudes being like, I don't know what all these chicks with problems are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so, um, I can cheat. You can't cheat. What yeah. the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? We were talking about that mm. recently when you're like, uh, you could do, you could be some, you could be anything on the mm. stage, but if you're a, if you're a, a fucking uh, cheater, everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Josie, she says, no, it's not a good one. She said she can't come on. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, These people, uh, I was like, people will come on. They'll have the balls. Apparently not. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna post uh, this again. Uh, I'll tell you my first ever breakup story. It was traumatic. Okay. It's probably the reason why I have commitment issues. Actually, I think I think I'm ready to move on and be in a, be in a real relationship. This quarantine has really opened my eyes. Uh, there we go. There I'm in go. a happy place right now, and I'm just going to share it with people. Uh, with mm -hmm. Who knows? Um, had a groom and a bride their wedding day. Groom hooks up with the maid of honor in the bathroom stall. It was a short wedding. Hashtag <laughs> keep it classy. Oh, oh my oh, god. Shit. So yeah, Anthony Stark is a wedding DJ, so I'm sure he's seen a lot of <laughs> a shit. A lot of shit. I actually That's was, crazy. I was at a at a wedding once when I was like 13. Yeah. And um it was like a friend of the family, friend of the family. For some reason, my family was invited. It's at Carmen's Banquet Center in Hamilton. And I went up to, uh, it was like a kid, like a 13-year-old kid, like, I'm just going to go for a walk in the venue. Like, I just didn't want to. I was like 12. Maybe I was 11. I don't know. Yeah. My dad was still alive. So I was under 13. My dad was there. So I I, uh, went, I was like, I'm going to go for a walk. And I went for a walk. And the bride of the wedding was like in the bridal suite, like just doing blow and partying with all the groomsmen. And the groom wasn't there. The groom's like downstairs, like fucking. <laughs> yeah, nice. Thanks for coming. And Thank I was like, well, I didn't yeah. know what Paul was. I was just yeah. like, I thought there was just a bunch of salt on the <laughs> table. And they were all praying. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I was like, I realized, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, they were, she was doing Coke with the groomsmen. And the groomsmen, oh. like, hi, thank you so yeah, much. I'm going to <laughs> Uh, no, thanks for coming. Are they, are they, wild, do you know man. if they're that'd be great if they're still together? You like, yeah, I know. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I, mean, last the, yeah, I got <laughs> yeah, like I start off well, you know. <laughs> Dude, your best man gets your wife hooked on coke your wedding <laughs> night. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck, uh, man? He's but, like, man, man like it. Oh, but <laughs> she, she's supposed to be paying half the mortgage. It's over, bro. <laughs> oh, All your money. All the money from the wedding, it's down the drain. Yeah, people, sure. I, know, I know some couples, even are my age, who like the weddings last. Like, there's got to be some sort of rule. If you give a couple like 300 bucks, 400 bucks for their wedding, and they yeah. get divorced within the year, there's got to be a payment. You, payment. Get, you get some back. You get, yeah, there's got to be. Like, hey, I invested in this business. <laughs> <and you're laughs> yields. Yeah, yes, uh, yes, yeah. Oh, for sure. There's got to be something. Hey, especially 304. I invest, that's 100 a year, you know? Yeah, like, I invest exactly. it. Yeah. yeah. If I if you don't make it, money, if, if yeah, this is the yeah. last four years in one kid, give me my fucking if money. Have a fucking money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. It's funny because I like talk shit about weddings and stuff to so people get married, mm. but like, I've wanted to get married since I was like 12. <laughs> I was like, and then on my yeah. wedding day, <laughs> like, yeah, and yeah. then we're going to lose it on uh, our uh, 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 
dude, I'm with you, man. I think about that wedding as well, for sure. Yeah, but, I think because we, you know. we, 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 our, our family is so important to us. We've lost some, both of you and I have lost some family. That, that's a, exactly what you lost. You know, when you lose a family and you're like, all right, I want that family. Yeah, yeah you're like, give yeah. me that fucking family. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to rock this, yeah. Uh, I'm putting my boyfriend's Ray Bans in Jello while he's at work. If you can wait till tomorrow, I might have a good breakup story. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll tell my first ever breakup story. I was in okay. it was the summer between grade seven and grade eight, I believe. Right, and uh, it, and actually, it reminds me of that that joke that you have. Because that's the summer that my dad died, so I oh, had a girlfriend, a sub grade summer, grade seven, and grade eight. I guess I could. I should, that's so funny. Oh, you like breakup stories? I'm like, oh wait, I have that joke. Yeah. <laughs> you remind me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I you didn't tell so, yours, yeah. but uh, I, I had a girlfriend, and I'll, I'll never forget it. She went. I went yeah. to St. Francis. She went to St. Agnes, and she was like the hot chick at St. Agnes. She right. Whatever. And I used to ride my bike over to her survey and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, we were like, I was like, you're my girlfriend. And she's like, okay. And then, <laughs> then like, uh, then like my, my dad died and she went to like PEI for a bit and there was no Facebook then. So we did, I right. just like see her in a, for like a month. And she right. came back from PEI, and I'm like, I'm gonna go see my girlfriend. She'll understand my pain right now. And right. <laughs> I rattled, ride my bike over there, pedaled it over there, mm-hmm. and uh, she came. And she came out front, and she's like, uh, "What's going on with you?" I'm like, "Well, <laughs> uh, my dad died," and she's like, mm-hmm. "Oh, she's like, well, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to tell you that we're breaking up uh, <laughs> because uh, this whole relationship was a dare." And I knew that oh. I, could, I knew that I could hold up my end of the dare because I knew I was going to PEI, so I didn't have to see you. Dude, you know? Oh shit! <laughs> I was like, well, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, uh, I got, <laughs> yeah, oh. uh, I, yeah. I'm gonna try not to remember this as a sad thing. Yeah, yeah. there's another sad thing that happened to me recently. I'm gonna oh. more focus on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and I try and stuff. try to figure. <laughs> Yeah. I got some other stuff going on in my life right now, so it's yeah. not really a huge deal. Uh, that was funny. But I uh, had a breakup. Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, and then I, and then it's the funny part of the story is, like three or four months ago, I matched with her on Tinder. No, and she's got like fucking three kids now, three different babies. Oh, shit. And I like, of course, her and I'm oh, like, I want to dare. <laughs> yeah, all the kids are there. I, I, dare. I got three kids. I want to dare. I'm really good at this. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> dare me? <laughs> yeah. You dare me to have a kid, your baby? And, yeah, uh, oh. and I matched with her. And we started talking and I was like, I can, oh. I need to go, re- go on a revenge date with this chick. Oh, oh then, for sure. And then it just never happened. And then you fizzled. No. Out. Like oh fuck! Uh, um, no, because you're looking through the photo. Fo- every time you look through a photo or swipe on a photo and you see a kid, it's just a little bit nah, bad idea. Yeah, no, I can barely take care of myself. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's it's definitely me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna go on this uh, fucking revenge date, but then Corona happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the so world I- pretty much said, "Don't do it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, where what's going on here? Nathan said I can't get the link to work. I posted it again, dude. Just click on it, click on share or allow access to camera and microphone. If you got headphones, throw them on. I'm sure Nathan has some amazing stories. Uh, Chad might have a couple good uh, uh breakup stories if he wants to join the stream. Uh, yeah, Emma, that was so mean of her, but you have a breakup story similar to that. Go ahead, Moses. Oh, well, uh, like, yeah, because, like, yeah, well, I because I don't remember the timeline, but it was close together, like, just, uh, like, you know, when my dad passed away, 17 years old, yeah. and, you know, kind of, that, and then the girlfriend, like, called me, and I swear it was, like, two days after, like, even, I think it might have been the same day, it was, she calls, and she goes, uh, hey, I want to break up, and, you know, <laughs> well, I, I don't know, I'm, like, doing the joke, you yeah, know, I'm so, the joke. Uh, no, I'm okay. just, this isn't a joke. Yeah. It is a true story, but don't. I'm just, I'm a, it's like, don't worry about doing the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I think I lost it. I'm like trying to do the joke. I'm like, oh, fuck. I haven't done comedy so long. I lost the, my rhythm. Um, but no, uh, 
yeah, so she, like she called me and she goes, hey, I want to break up. Uh, and, you know, I know your dad passed away, but I still want to break up, right? And I'm like, damn, I'm a shitty boyfriend, <laughs> you know? <laughs> when, a, uh, when a girlfriend doesn't want to stay with you even two months after, you know, let me give him a pity, pity blowjob. Nah, I'm like, all right, I got to, all right. I got to focus on myself, but you know, I, I a, uh, but no, I, yeah, but yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I just have a friend who is like, he's known notoriously a bad boyfriend. We were in yeah. the bar recently, uh, a couple yeah. months ago. And some girl was like, if you came up to us and to him, she's like, you're the worst boyfriend I've ever had. <laughs> and he looked at her. He's like, we dated. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's the funniest thing ever, <laughs> bro. We did. That was like you watching U.S. Shea with that one girl. When you were, if we're talking about those days, man, just like yeah. where you like you you see it in the like the movies and whatnot, and you see it, but like oh, when guys, why does the dick always get the girl? And you're like, all right, no, and the nice yeah. guy, like, and you don't see it, and then you see somebody be a dick, and this girl just like melt and not walk away, and then she starts biting her lip and looking at him up and down, and you're like, "What the fuck is happening right now?" <laughs> yeah, literally, nice guy. He, you're, you're calling him. You're calling her short. You're calling her a little too fat for you, and she's just there, <laughs> like, "I'm a like." Well, it was yeah, it was wild. Yeah. Uh, that's hilarious. So we we dated. That's so Pretty funny. True story. So and so is the worst boyfriend I ever had. And he <laughs> dated. <laughs> she was, yeah, that's a big one. shitty like that, man. Um, fuck. There's so many good stories out there. People are literally messaging me, being like, "I have a great one." Okay, uh, here, here we go. Um, Our goal is to get someone on this like live telling their story. You know? <laughs> yeah. But if there's anyone watching who is. Uh, Elijah says, uh, Eric, Michael, I got one for you. Give me a minute to type it out. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, we have our first our first guy on the nice. show. I'm so happy. People have balls, finally. People uh, uh, get in the relationship. People never fucking <laughs> get talking about right. what they're going to break up. Uh, this guy is uh, a very good friend of mine. We've been friends for very, uh, very many years. Uh, he is uh, a big supporter of mine, which means a lot, but I'm also a big mm -hmm. supporter of him. Uh, he works at a manager. He's, a, he's high up in the stank show. Okay, yes, we got the dude. High. Yes. <laughs> like a corporate. Uh, no, I'm kidding. He, <laughs> he does have a very interesting, mm -hmm. guy. He's a very, uh, very good friend of mine. Please welcome to the show, Nathan McGuire, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Hey, this is another dude. Yeah, Sorry, we got Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Rory, Rory. Out, of, out of all the guests we wanted, we got the one we wanted. <laughs> yeah. Dude, nice. You've got stories. I know you do. Just start. I've, I've got a couple. But but first off, I'm actually not even a manager. I'm just part time there. That's okay. my. Part -time <laughs> like, we job. tried to big. We tried to big you up. <laughs> yeah, I actually have like a real like Monday to Friday. No, I. Oh, okay. no. It's funnier to be like. So we, it's funnier to be like. He's high <laughs> up in the stage show. <laughs> he's got a really good job. He's just <laughs> well, I, I have been there for I think about like seven-ish years now. There you go. See, yeah. what is your keep, shirt? Keep the ladies uh, love the eighties. It's got the Ninja Turtles on it. Oh, shit. nice, okay, perfect. James says, James says the shirt is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So I'm sure you got some, dude. Hit me with what? Well, give me your top three. Uh, top three. See, it's oh, hard because I've actually go no one. I haven't been a big. Sorry. Well, I said just go with one. Go with oh. one. Whatever one. I thought, <laughs> well, you, no, I thought you had a fucking stroke there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I haven't actually really dated a lot. Like I was very picky about who I did. Being with girls, just not like dated dates to the point where we actually got to the breakup point more. So just like we walk away and. Do our own thing, right? Yeah. Um, the first one, actually, the very, very first one was when I was in grade two. Oh. And it's, just, it's 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 just really funny because the whole circumstances that happened. Um, I was in grade two. This girl, super good friends with, we decided to become girlfriend boyfriend kind of thing, and she ended up coming over to my house and asking if my brother can go out of the room and oh, sit, tell him that we're gonna make him a special thing. I'm like, oh. Okay, sure, no problem. Thinking we're gonna build Legos or something. I'm a great too. Yeah, so. great too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So she closed the door. She goes, "Have you ever French kissed?" I'm like, "No, oh, freaky." Yo, so, man, 
Yo, the <laughs> confidence on this girl in grade two oh, is <laughs> wild already. Can you leave the room? Can you tell her, like, <laughs> an, <laughs> an older person, hey, I, I need the room? That's why. Keep going. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. So, we're stopping. Uh, back, I'm just going to be – I'm just very happy that this story involves you <laughs> being in grade two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The reason why is because I was actually – I had to actually, like, get my mom to tell the girlfriend that we were broken up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but the reason why is because after my brother left the room, she we began to French kiss, and then so that was one thing. Which again, in grade two, wasn't really interested in that whole kind of thing. I would hope. And not then that. no, no. And then we went to the bed, and then she goes, "Have you ever put your hand on a girl's pants?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> oh yeah, this what. Like, <laughs> Man, you it's should like, have went to the, you should have went to that girl's house because she doesn't have parents, bro. Her parents yeah. are not existent, man. You don't want no, to like, this girl's watching the yeah. Wow. Yeah, looking back on it, obviously, like there was stuff wrong, but yeah. <laughs> so first or great second, first time having a girl touch me or touching a girl, my mom oh, wow. walks in as it happens. And <laughs> so she sends the girl home. She sits me down. She goes, did she touch you? I'm like, no, I swear. She didn't touch me. She goes, good. Because if she touched you, your dick is going to fall off. <laughs> and it just <laughs> oh. turned around. You know what? That's just turned movie. around. Parenting <laughs> in that moment. Oh, Man, yeah. your mom gave so, you the classic dick fall off. That's oh, yeah, yeah. I believed it. <laughs> yeah. So I started crying. I told her everything that happens. I'm like, can you please tell her that we're not dating anymore? So she had to call the parents. And tell the parents to let the girl know she's not allowed over anymore. We're not allowed to like hang out or any of that kind of stuff. Wow, and so, that yeah, it was, it was really awkward. Okay. Can, can you tell a story that doesn't make me scared of that child? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. Crazy. Where's that? Yeah, she, she also works wow. at the thing shop now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. man. Uh, well, like I. Good size one was it was a, I was in high school and okay all right well thank God okay go first ahead. started in yeah, yeah. and she brings me over brought me over to her parents' place and her dad owned the um like mechanic shop beside the house and she went wanted me to introduce the family so I'm like cool so I go over to the house and introduced me to her mom her sister who were working there and then her dad comes in the office this little short guy looks me up and down goes okay and I, I'm six one I was on the football team so. Like she's arguing. Yeah. That. Okay, all right. I see how this is. Walks out <laughs> yeah. the office and say a word. So I keep talking to the parents and then, or to her mom and her sister. And then all of a sudden, I hear this motor going. But we're in a mechanic shop, so don't think anything of it. So it's getting louder and louder and louder. All of a sudden, he comes inside the door with a chainsaw, <laughs> revving it no. right beside my knees. Oh, he goes, "How do your knees feel?" I'm like, "Kind of weak." He goes, "Remember that every time you touch my daughter?" And just walks out. <laughs> oh shit! Like eh? so, yeah. <laughs> But like, so I was like, all right, no, maybe it was a one-time thing. And every time, like, I went over to her house and her dad was there, he would just stare me down. Wouldn't say a word to me. I just <laughs> stare me down. I was just walking in and out of rooms. I'm like, all right, this, I, th- I think I'm good. This is good. <laughs> he was, he, he was like waiting for that moment, though. That the dad, like, you know, like, like the classic scene in Bad Boys too, when the her daughter comes to the oh, door yeah. and you're like, oh man, yeah. when I grow up, I'm gonna do that. This dude, like, oh, man, I'm gonna have a chainsaw. <laughs> and the first girl. <laughs> My the first boy that my girl my daughter bring up, you know, and I'm <laughs> yeah. literally every, to time, his every knees. time you're at the house, he's like, Vroom. yeah, fucking oh, uncle Bob. Flashbacks every, the, time. The, every time. The dad was the dad was shorter and, and smaller than you. Yeah, so I'm six one. He was yeah. probably about five five. Oh, five, 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 he, five he, he needed that man. He always had that chain. He's like, I'm gonna cut you down to my oh, size. Yeah. Like he just, <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna bring those calves out. A short, yeah, a short dude. He's like, I need a chainsaw to cut this yeah. thing down. Yeah, well, that's, I yeah, could just crazy. see him like walking to the shops. Like, hey, what do I got? What do I got? <laughs> just yeah, the yeah. Like, oh, the perfect. That's oh, crazy. Man. Um, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. well, we got a we got a real big comment coming in from Elijah. I don't know if I can see all this. Um, wait, uh, wait, will this comic <laughs> comment stay up? <laughs> oh well, I broke up with this girl because she was super immature. We didn't talk for about nine months. I assume she was taking the breakup well. I have an old email address from grade six that I never checked that I used to sign up for all my social media. One day, I randomly checked the deleted emails folder of the spam email account and found dozens of notifications for suspicious logins to my Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. 
the reason she hadn't reached out, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, my. The suspense. Oh, yeah, the, the suspense. suspense. Yeah, the suspense. <laughs> he, wasted, he wasted the punchline on, wait, will this comment stay up? <laughs> He's like, stay, stay tuned. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Come yeah, back yeah. next yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Same Eric it Johnson station. Same <laughs> Eric Johnson show. I assume the next part's <laughs> coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe the, the, the stream Ooh. will only let you say uh, something more. Oh, hold on. I think I found it. I went to the Facebook. Uh, the reach day in my life. Okay, super. The reason she hadn't reached out. Oh, hold on. I've got it. Here we go. Hold on. I've got it on my Facebook. I got to drag and drop it into here. Everyone talks amongst yourselves. Here we go. Oh, 200. Okay, so I got another part. So was because she knew exactly what was going on in my life. She had found the login to my grade six spam email account and hacked into all my accounts and then deleted the notifications for almost a year. Hold on. There's more. There's more. There's more. Uh, For almost a year, I got to find it again. This is probably a great angle for my face uh, right now. (laughs) Um, Hold on. Wait a minute. (laughs) Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> this is great hosting, by the way. <laughs> no, it's coming. <laughs> just come on. He's, he's got to come on live and just say this. Yeah, like what a fucking guy. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in eight parts. Um, <laughs> yeah. Create banner. Here we go. Hold on. I'm going to run out of space again. Add banner. Here we go. For almost a year, she saw all my DMs. Oh, my glory days. Yeah, Nathan, uh, don't sorry. fight with your girlfriend over this fight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is good. There's going to be another <laughs> line breakup. See, this is the problem. Talking no about the garden, yeah. the show. <laughs> For almost a year, she yeah, saw my yeah. DMs. She would go block girls I was following. She saved all my photos in Snapchat. All this happened while she had a boyfriend. I ended up calling her to confront. There's more. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, man. And, and she asked, here we go. Next part, guys, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, well, just another one. It wasn't what, with me, but I know through. Uh, oh, last part, last part, Nathan. Hold on, last part. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you almost felt the time. <laughs> I wanted to get lunch and catch up. This girl was certifiably crazy. Yeah, I yeah, still it, miss I her. Uh, oh, of course. Of course, man. When your life is could be that. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. and I've actually met that kid. He's mad handsome. So <laughs> oh. it makes sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, girl. for sure. Yeah, we so, saw him at night yeah. in Kitchener, Waterloo. He was that comic who was the male nurse. Super funny kid. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. shit. That dude's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Know, Elijah, nice. Yeah, That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> no, this is a great and horrible story, <laughs> especially when it comes oh. to different parts. Okay, uh, yeah. Nathan, you you have you have one. It wasn't you; it was a friend of yours, uh, or it was yeah, you? But your girlfriend's that. in the room now, and she's no, no, <laughs> no, no, she was sleeping, so she heard me. She's like, "You have every fucking light on house." I'm like, "Well, it's on here." She's like, "What are you guys talking about?" I was like, she goes, "Oh, your glory days." <laughs> she, she looks at you. She's like, "Well, those are over <laughs> now." <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually know it might mean her have been together for almost four years now and after six months she's my longest relationship so uh so yeah, this one's, you're locked glory. in you're, yeah. you're, you're in moses territory now you guys <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so okay yeah. so so you're, it happened to a buddy of yours go ahead go ahead yeah so <laughs> him and his girlfriend together they they weren't together very long but uh they, they were it was back in high school again so they're always like you know head over and heels and uh i see him a couple days later and he goes um yeah so we're not together anymore i'm like why he goes well she asked me to try something freaky I'm like, all right, that piqued my interest. Yeah, yeah. Like stank, <laughs> stank shop model employee. Yeah, of the year. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay. And it was like, you broke up, like what? Tied up, kind of spanked, kind of thing. He's like, not exactly. We were drinking <laughs> and started fooling around. All of a sudden, I feel her hand around my ass, and then Whoa! she shoved a beer bottle. Up his ass. <laughs> oh, no. oh, shit. Oh. Like, really? He's just staring at me. We kind of stared at each other for a couple of seconds. Like, what'd you do? <laughs> He's like, he goes, I was I thirsty. Walk out. <laughs> yeah. like, I walked out. <laughs> now, was it, a, was it a Corona bottle or one of those oh, snubby oh, ones? Because that's a different story. <laughs> oh, yeah, like yeah. blood or something. Oh, God. Oh, oh, yeah. God. People are, are weird. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, that could be enough for a breakup. An unadulterated. Oh, sure. un, uh, no, no, not adulterated. <laughs> another, an unexpected uh, she probably- Bud Light. 
I, she probably I had that happen to her and it ended a relationship and she's like i know how to end up a relationship <laughs> i'll do it i'll do it tonight <laughs> i know exactly what i need to do uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come over. I'm stopping by the LCBO really. first. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what kind of beer do you drink? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, are these yeah. twist offs? She's, uh, you're like, yeah. she's like, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Chuck says, I hope you remove the bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't yeah. ask him that part. I was laughing way too hard when he told me. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nathan, easy. just because I'm, I'm curious, uh, yeah. I know that you've now you're down to part time. You've got a great job at uh, another job job but uh for comedic sake you're the ceo of steak shop and um <laughs> i know you worked there for a long time and uh and uh is there anything that stands out in your mind working there I, I, I'm protecting people's safety and 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 uh and pr privacy of course yeah. but uh anything a couple came in that maybe a couple like the wife wanted to buy something and the husband's like no, oh, no. <laughs> or vice no. Versa. anything like that happened <laughs> Yeah, there was a there was a couple. There's way way too many stories from that place. Yeah. Um, yeah. and there's like stories of like, especially like going to the whole like anal thing. There's so many times where I've heard girls like, "All right, no, you can do anal," because they always come in and ask for like different like lubes or toys and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, "Yeah, no problem," but I get to stick that in you, and she just points to like <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, it's like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the guy's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, does that come with Eric Johnston's rings? <laughs> I know, I, I <laughs> Take those love off. it too. Because <laughs> I'm always right behind it. I was like, just a little lube and you can fit it there. Trust me, don't worry. <laughs> but there's always those guys who are like, hell no. And like, they fight back and forth. But then there's some you can see the guys just like, how about I do I want it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny watching compromise. I've never been in. I've never. I've only been in that place place for like a like a like for joke reasons. <laughs> I swear to God. And I was also yeah, in there. Yeah. My, uh, like, I've only been there like like. Uh, uh, I was like uh, yeah. Nathan after the show. Can we talk about my customer card? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to make one know. more one more stamp purchase. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. When people come in, they recognize that I'm behind the counter. Like, uh, I'm here for massage oil. It's like, mm -hmm. or, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm here for a friend. It's yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah. Every, everybody has their guy or their girl at the steak shop. Like, where's the dude with the beer? Yeah, <laughs> he, he he understands me. He understands yeah. what I'm looking for. Uh, There's no walker. Yeah. Josie oh, says man. such a brother's convo, which is true. We're all three dudes <laughs> hanging out. So many girls yeah. are like, I have great stories, and they're just not coming on. So now you're yeah. gonna hear about bottles and acids. Uh, yeah. Rachel is a is a is a, a paramedic, I believe, first responder, and she said, "Remember, if you have to call one nine one one, don't bother saying you fell on it. No one believes you." <laughs> I bet, <laughs> I bet Rachel life. has some fucking crazy stories. <laughs> As a first responder, things stuck I mean, in it. I, I don't envy her. Like, I've seen some of the stuff we sell, and people buy it. I'm like, really? You're going to try that out? No. <laughs> 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 right. You're like, well, yeah. The, yeah, the human body's the, the, the first thing. Yeah, their first time trying something is like huge. You're like baby oh, yeah. steps. They're like, no, yeah. we go all the way. Yeah. I've, I've actually taken uh -huh. things out of people's hands because, like, yeah, I'm trying first time anal. How does this look? I'll literally grab it on hand. I'm like, no, no, no. They go over like the paint and like, try this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll start here. You're like, no, you're like, no I'll, I'll take that with two hands and you just hand her. I'll take, try this. <laughs> you actually have one, you know, the American challenge that was 18 inches and oh. like, oh, shit. I, 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 I can't even imagine how it was like massive <laughs> and people come in all the time yeah. and buy it like it was one of our hottest sellers i'm like I, I you know why because all it comes all. down to at the end of the day is people love a challenge <laughs> there <laughs> it is there it is yeah there american is. challenge there i can is. conquer that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah i uh well, biggest, I, go ahead go ahead nathan go ahead i was just saying the, the biggest fights i see in the store all the time are when like Guys either pulling lingerie, it's like, yeah, you should try this on. And the girl's like, ah, uh, no. And yeah. yeah. Like, uh -huh. Or they'll like grab toys and like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. And it's always like the most extreme shit. But the second they turn around, it's like, all right, well, then you try this. So they're like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's it it so funny. Before pre before they even went in, they're like, like, they're like, oh, we should go to the steak shop. And the guy's like, oh, what do you want, though? Like, should we discuss it? And she goes, no, I'm into anything. I'll try. Let's, let's just go and see what we find. They get in. Why not? Nice? She's like, no. <laughs> like immediately, she switches. She switches. Yeah. Like, no. Never mind. Never mind. I was just being nice <laughs> in the car. Yeah. I'll uh, tell you yeah, what. You, I, you learn most... pretty quickly. So I was gonna say you learn pretty quickly yeah. that girls are uh, they are the uh, girls and guys too 
are a lot yeah. like I'll do anything, and then when it comes down to like, okay, well, not uh-huh. anything. <laughs> now you're in the shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're so looking I, at Nathan's uh, beard. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I've been like I've gone to a few like the fetish like hardcore BDSM parties and stuff like that just because of curious you get it working there you probably get all the invites to all of it yeah sure. yeah you yeah, have, you yeah, have a yeah, front yeah. line to freak yeah, central. Yeah, yeah. yeah research <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but like all the times like oh yeah i like it rough i'm like okay cool so and i'll take more like the pals and she's like no, no no like do you have feathers i'm like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't like to be tickled. <laughs> yeah. 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 She's like, being tickled is my first fear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, uh, Moses, were you at that, that show, Moses, that we did in that sex club with uh, John Avery? And uh, yeah, Shock Player man. was there. Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, Nathan, I'll tell you, and I'll tell our viewing audience um, that uh, – <laughs> That we, Moses and I did a show years ago at the, I don't even know, wow. like Wet Ultra Lounge or something it was called. Some Mississauga. Yeah, it was yeah. off like the QEW oh, yeah. or 403. You're like, yeah, no, I've <laughs> yeah, been there. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's pretty it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty much the business park, but they have a sex pub right before it. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what they did was they ran a comedy show at the sex club. But it, what, the sex club wasn't, ha- like, wasn't open while the comedy show was opening. But it was right. funny because like it was like a soul. It was pretty packed in there. Not packed, packed, but like I'd say there's 50 people in there. And uh, Shaw Claire, the rapper, was there sitting in the front row. And, row. <laughs> and uh, I was I had a funny moment with him when I'm like, I used to dance with to you. My first, <laughs> my first ever hip hop solo was to the song Let's Ride by Shaw Claire. So I was like, Hi, Shaw Claire. I used to competitive Aww. dance to you. We're in a sex club. He's like, Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, that's probably that's probably a lot better than what he usually gets in there. I used to fuck to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah, and you're like, and you're like, I used to dance, and then you saying dance to him. That's the weirdest shit he heard. Yeah, in there. He pictures me yeah. being like, touch my body. Uh, I'm like, let's ride, Chuck Claire. So, but it was crazy because the sex club wasn't open, but uh, but it was going to be open. The show was like from set, let's say the doors open at seven, show was at eight, went to like 10, and then the sex club was opening at 10 o'clock for the rest of the night. Uh, it was funny, like we're doing the show, and we all we didn't all bomb, but it just wasn't a good show. Mm-hmm. It was just one of those nights. It just the show wasn't set up for comedy. The room wasn't set up for comedy. Half the people were like, "I thought I was at a sex oh. club. Why are these guys talking yeah. to a microphone?" Then, uh, yeah, tell it, tell them yeah. about our childhoods. And shit. <laughs> yeah, but but the the guy, the owner, was like, "We love comedians here. Comedians are always so open and so funny." Oh, uh, yeah. You guys, why don't you guys just take a look around, walk around, and fi- see what you like, and figure it out? So Moses yeah. and I are like, "Fuck it, we'll <laughs> take a look." Yeah. So yeah. we're walking through this sex club, and we're just watching the. It was like walking through like a haunted house in Niagara Falls. We we're just getting to more <laughs> scary and extreme <laughs> rooms with every room that we got to. <laughs> and like the first one was just like beds, and then. Yeah. Like the next one was like beds with like things in the walls, and there was like just things in the walls, and like well, the the last room was like a fucking like a tool shed with fucking like room. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy who was threatening you with the chainsaw, he was in there with the chainsaw, being like wearing a gym mask. But it was yeah. funny though because they were really about safe sex. Every like literally every within like reach was a pile of towels yeah. and a bowl full of condoms. And I was literally just going in every room. I'm like, oh, that was a good uh, condom. I put it in my pocket. I'm like, that's a yeah. good one. I'm like stealing a- towels and shit. Yeah. Dude, that's like, everybody thinks like these like big like freak shows and like BDSM parties and all that stuff. It's all sex, but like 90 percent of them are no penetration and no yeah. alcohol. Oh. Right. Then you get the ones that are no holds bar. And no they re- they really want to feel it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> no, no alcohol. Like no, you're you're not numbing nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oddly enough, that's more so for the dons because like if you're drunk and you're just willy nilly just like throwing cats and nine tails and like floggers. Oh, stuff, true, true. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You could so kill somebody. Yeah, you're we'll like I want to be 100 percent sober so I don't fucking murder somebody. <laughs> Rachel <laughs> says, "Remember yeah. Dungeons and Divas on James Street South?" No, I don't. But that yeah, sounds actually. Like a she was my first family in the fetish community. What, Rachel? 
No, no, no. <laughs> Dungeons and Divas? Yeah. yeah like, da- you guys need to have a conversation. <laughs> no, Mistress Danielle, she used to own Dungeons and Divas downtown. And when I first was getting curious about it, I started talking to somebody that worked at her shop, which led me into one of the munches, which is just like a uh, get together at a bar. And it was, uh, I, yeah. uh, what's that place down by? Uh, actually, I think it's down by you. It's like Locos or Lotos? Lotos. Yeah, that's where I used to run there. Tommy in the Creek. For <laughs> years. So on the other side, when the internet club was coming, that was us usually coming in there. Oh, the internet Taz club. Yeah. And, uh, was, uh, <laughs> she she ran Dungeons and Divas, and she basically introduced me to like munches. Went to my first like actual party and stuff. Oh, and wow. uh, actually, I got her a ticket at Embassy Club because her sub fell out of one of the performances. So she needs somebody up on a cross that they could whip and flog while um drag queens danced and sung Tina the dirt songs around her yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so see that, it... that's what the cross should be used yeah, for you know what? <laughs> <laughs> enough for the enough with this whole easter uh, thing. yeah 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 enough, enough of this what are you doing down in the house burning them man <laughs> these are yeah uh, yes. Rachel said yeah. she was in there with a friend to see what was up, and the basement was full of giant man baby stuff. Uh, man, yeah, man size it. high chairs and soothers and diapers and cribs and bottles. Yeah, so like when you first walked up in the main floor, that was like the actual shop. Then when you went downstairs, yeah. people could actually like rent that out and do like their own thing, or they she would actually do like classes and stuff with other people. And then if you wow. went all the way upstairs, because she owned the whole thing, that was like her place. And she had like a bed, and that's where she threw her like no hold barred parties, which were just Jesus. Right. This was the breakup you... show to like me, Moses and I learning about Oof. fetish culture. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you have to like so- sign something? Like sign yeah. a non disclosure? Yeah. In so, every some of, them, yeah. some of them you do, some of them you don't. Like there's one in Toronto, which is Queen's Rec, which is all female doms. Like you cannot be a male and dom- be dominant in there. Okay. Oh, so shit. Did, eh? So you do that one, and you, as soon as you walk in, you sign a paper saying, like, if anything happens, I hold nobody <laughs> responsible. I'm here on my own volition, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then you have Man. to pick a necklace, and there's green, yellow, red. So if you have a green necklace, it means that you're more of an observer. Oh, no, no, you oh green means you go. Oh, green press. means go. Yeah, okay. Oh, green, green, green light. light. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. Yeah, I thought green meant, like, much. I'm an open person, but yeah, I don't want to. I thought red right, meant, no, like, no, fuck no. me up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, green means like you can take me and do whatever the fuck you want, kind of thing. Oh, sure. means like you're there with somebody, but if oh, you okay. ask, you can probably do stuff with. Uh-huh. And if you're a redneck, this means you're there with somebody. Don't touch. Kind of leave you alone. Okay. So when I went oh, there, shit. the girls I went there with was, and that was like my first party. She gave me a yellow yeah. neck. It's like, yeah, it'll be fine, and we'll see how you do. <laughs> yeah. no. you're like, oh, no. I, I would yeah. literally be in something like that being like please don't hit me <laughs> yeah. you're, go- you're going around like mardi gras like hey you want to trade necklaces? <laughs> hey you got it you got a red one you want a red one you want to trade you want to red yeah. who's got red guys yeah, like, got got green yeah. oh, it, was, it, was it was absolutely insane and like like all the guys there are like in like leather like cross Body suits, oh, and, like shit. little thongs and stuff. I'm there with jeans and a collar on. I'm like, yeah, I fit yeah. right. <laughs> I'm only, like, yeah. one year younger than everybody, and I have a full set of hair. Oh so, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, you uh, walked in there, they were like fresh meat. <laughs> me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, for I, sure. I, I've I've never been so objectified in my life, and it was <laughs> oh, for so sure. Weird. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. this show yeah. took a fucking left turn. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> those, no, are, I, and, I uh, those are interesting, man. It's so I love. I love that we went to this place. I love that this show is like. All right, well, Nathan's gonna come on. He works his tank shop, and you're like, so this chick was whipping me, and yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> We're we're letting we're letting you know where you can go after you get if you've broken up with somebody you like this place is that will accept you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I <laughs> yeah. Here, oh, I just yeah. Actually, my very first customer ever working for Stag was uh, this little old lady and. The girl who was training was like, yeah, go ahead. She's yours. Go go do your thing. I'm like, okay. So I go over and I'm like, hi, is there anything I can give you a hand with today? And she looks at me and she goes, well, my husband passed away a year ago. I figure it's time I figure out how to get myself off now. 
And I was like, oh, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, but she's loving it. Like, we go up to the wall. I was like, so, like, just out of curiosity, like, what are you comfortable with? And, like, we have sizes from, like, five inches all the way up to, like, 13 inches, kind of, like, right. skinny little deals to, like, big ones. I'm like, what are you comfortable with? And she points to the biggest one. She goes, that one. I'm like, really? No. <laughs> she starts laughing. She goes, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who like, was your husband? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, lost yeah. lost her husband to deportation back to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh God! Uh, uh, Chad brings up a good point. What's everyone's best worst breakup line they've used on someone or had someone use on them? Which is a great way to ri- round oh. out the show. Thank you for the for the question. Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, actually, this is funny. James says sizes from Eric to Moses. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with the Polish yeah, and work our way up yeah, to my way up African. To the African, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have the uh, I am the captain now section, and we have the uh, <laughs> still lives at his mom's house, the Stony Creek yeah. section. Yeah, you, you have the yeah, you have the Captain Phillips or Forrest Gump. You, Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Tom Hanks yourself around this uh <laughs> by the end you leave you're like i'm okay i'm okay <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, okay that was great that was a great comment thank you no. james <laughs> that, that led to... <laughs> uh, okay but i'm gonna bring up chad's qu- a comment again that's how we're gonna round out the show today um is uh, all three of us I, I guess i'll go last um oh wait elijah yeah. brings up this one isn't fucking 20 miles long so we can read <laughs> this one quick yeah. i don't want this girl tell me she's into being rough turns out it meant her beating the shit out and biting me not what i expected <laughs> yeah it's weird when she, just, she just didn't specify i once had a girl yeah, to <laughs> literally i hate when anyone touches my neck yeah, <laughs> you cannot touch my neck yeah. no one can touch my neck i don't even that's why you think why do you think my shirts are so fucking open <laughs> Nothing can touch my neck. And uh, <laughs> I was, I don't know, even, I don't even know if we're having sex. I think we're just fooling around. And the girl, the girl, like, fucking, like, grabbed onto mm-hmm. my neck. And I literally went, Nathan's like, wait, well, how did she touch your neck? No, but I literally, yeah. I literally was like Mrs. Delphire. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no don't touch my fucking neck, oh, fucking um, neck. yeah ugh. okay so oh. let's try to let's try to round this out chad brings up a very good uh a good final good, point good here work. what's everyone's best wor- uh, best worst breakup line they've used on someone or had someone used on them something that someone said to you that has led to the breakup or someone that you said to them almost like a one-liner almost like the title of the show it's not you it's me has anyone Mo- moses or nathan have you guys used any any of those nathan nathan already has one loaded i cannot wait uh, <laughs> i don't i uh, i don't have any um, no, okay but Mo- oh, no sorry nathan has one loaded i can see nathan's yeah, yeah, okay. got it yeah yeah well this was actually one that was used on me and like the girl so you probably remember back on um, Much Music, the uh, uh, was it Electric Circus. Oh, yeah. My fa- yeah. my life, my day-to-day life. Yeah, I remember that show. <laughs> yeah. So I was actually dating one of the girls that used to be one of the dancers on there. Okay. And You're like, I met her at a fetish club. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Yeah. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Um, but, so we started dating, and then I knew she was cheating on me, so we broke up. And then i like because I, I called her on the phone i could hear him in the background and she was laughing giggling whatever so i was like no what? fine this, it's over but a month later she calls me up asking if i want to go to a party and kind of thing and she just wants to like bury the hatchet so go to the party and during that she takes me back to her car where she gives me a card and a teddy bear saying that she wants to go back out and back then i was really naive so went back out with her and anyways that lasts for a little bit and then all of a sudden i found out she was cheating on me again Okay. Not again, but she she was still with the guy when she. Oh, she was con- she was still kept continuing. Going. Yeah. That guy, that guy and, got a different toy yeah. in the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So finally, I was like, I just want to know why you would ask me back out if you're still with this guy. And she's like, Well, like you hit me emotionally, but he just hits me deeper on a different level. And just walks away. I was like, Was it Moses? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so funny, though, man. Just the, oh. Right. But like deeper on a so different so level like, is hilarious. Oh yeah, because it was like, I, like to this day, I still don't know. Like, 
Did she mean like emotionally or did she no? Mean, she like, meant pe- penally. Right? No, she <laughs> meant yeah, she meant no. penally. She's like, you are yeah. a good friend. He has a big penis. Oh, yeah. I was That's emotionally, not physically. Moses, have, so, yeah. have you said anything or had anything said to you that you're like, this is nothing that stands out? Like, it's a great question, Chad, but I, man, I don't have nothing. I can't think. Of. <laughs> what do you nothing usually like say? That. Like when you break up with something, like you do you say like I think we should see other people, we should be friends. No, 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 don't hit up. Just like, yeah, I'm just not. I don't even remember. I don't even know if I. I don't think I break up with them. I think they break up with me, and it's just like things yeah, just this isn't working. Yeah, you. I say I have nothing. Another one, but it wasn't from me. What's that, Nathan? I. I have another breakup story, but it wasn't actually from you. Again, it was a, a friend of mine. Oh, well, Moses is bombing right now, so I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing, bro. I got nothing, man. He's just that good. He doesn't have. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay, it's Josie fine. has the link. We're gonna we're gonna show. You could go ahead, Nathan. I'm gonna send Josie the link. All right. Um. So back in the day, back in Stony Peak in Birkendale area, I don't know if you know that area. Yeah, like, that's actually where the girl lived. She lived off Birkendale. The one who dated me as a dare and broke up with me after my dad died. Yeah, I know the area. Her, her name didn't start with a P, did it? No, no, no. <laughs> no. B, though, uh, close. I always confuse my Bs uh, and Ps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we used to always hang out at the park right there at Birkendale, and uh, my buddy was dating this one girl, and they, they used to always go behind the trees a little bit by the park and fool around. And the one day, it was, it was late at night, we're all drunk. All of a sudden, we hear him screaming. And then all of a sudden, he's running towards us as the girl's running the opposite way. And as he's running towards us, he, he's puking. And he gets over us. He's almost crying. I was like, what happened? He goes, I was going down on her. I was eating her out. And then all of a sudden, something soft and mushy moved into my mouth. <laughs> and we all started howling. And we're like, were you, like, you were in the right area, right? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. oh, yeah. And he was just so pissed. He goes, I know what I was doing. I was like, all right, all right, fine. The next day, like, we're all at the park again. And she comes up and they go off a little farther away to talk. Like to kind of end things, and all this, we just hear her crying and screaming. And she goes, "Why are you doing this?" And he goes, "Because something moved in my mouth. I don't know if it was shit or you." And just oh, walk away. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and all of it, it was awkward because like half her group was good friends with him, the other half was really good friends with her, so they were always together all okay. the time. Okay. Yeah. Wow, just wondering. <laughs> well, you don't know the answer. You don't know. <laughs> I thought you're gonna be like, and you know, then they you know. found out that. No, 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 no. Okay, well, thanks for telling that disgusting story that went nowhere. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bring on our oh, final, very special guest, Nathan. You can stay, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna make thanks. this a, I'm gonna make this a foursome. Uh, <laughs> Josie Belka <laughs> from Calgary, Alberta. Uh, she's, a, she's a radio show host. I'm not gonna tell you which on which radio station. Uh, she can't. She can't hear us. Okay, press the sound. Oh man, I. <laughs> Uh, I think you got to do that in like the I beginning. Hear yeah. oh, oh, there you we hear? go. There we go. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear yourself? We can hear you. No. No. Oh, Nathan! I told Nathan he could stay, and now he leaves. Uh, <laughs> okay, I cannot. It's hear late. <laughs> oh man, we're we got we're so excited. Josie comes on right at the yeah. end. And now well, she can't hear us. <laughs> I hope she just keeps going. I can't hear nothing. Oh man. Oh, uh, hold on. We're gonna tell her try again. Yes. Hold on, I didn't tell her to click on it again. Hold on, kick her from studio. She's kicked. Uh, I'm gonna say try again. Hold on, but yeah. So Moses, was there anything? There's nothing that you can think of right off the top of your. You 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 have to save it on this one, man. Because uh, but I don't uh, nothing that because it's the best, and I, you know if mine's not good, I don't even want to give it a go. I, I got nothing. I a girl, where she said, "What would what would be the one thing that I ever said to you that would make me?" Uh, Oh, Nathan, yeah, Nathan, you can come back. Yeah, yeah, Nathan will come back. Uh, I, know, I didn't pick you. You left yourself. Uh, 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 Chad's saying we could hear Josie. Josie can't hear. We couldn't hear her. She'll come back. I just texted her, try again, and she'll try again, and she'll figure it out. But uh, I said the, I said to a girl once, what's the one thing that, that she said to me, what's the one thing that I could happen to us that, that would make me break up with you or break how, what, what would end this relationship, basically? Right. And I said yeah. to her, it's important to me that you believe in in me in every way in terms of that that I'm doing this this lifestyle this comedian lifestyle I no, yeah. I don't I I I would hope that you think I'm funny but even if you don't think I'm funny I would just like that you would support me that I'm doing this and I'm making a living out of it and uh, and uh, 
the day we broke up, the last conversation we ever had. I don't know if it's more of a cliche breakup line, but the last thing she said to me was, uh, I don't think you're funny. Get a real job. Oh, <laughs> I was shit. Like, I was like, oh, okay. okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that shit. a... Uh, oh. Um, okay. but she listens to you oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> she was a listener man uh hold on Chelsea's gonna try again we'll close the show oh, okay you oh. click on link see this is the thing about running a live show with people coming in i got a text and whatever but we're almost done here oh, on air oh, the the didn't work click on the link it don't work i sent it to her no. directly oh yeah i had to like go and manually like punch it into a web browser Oh shit! Okay. Well. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> Rochelle says, "Same girl. Have you dated anyone who's nice?" Emma says, "I've actually." Dated <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've dated. No, honestly, nice girl. And, um, we don't want anyways. I'm talking. I'm talking to a very, a very nice girl right now. So yeah, yeah. I'm very happy about that. But um, they're but, all yeah. nice at the beginning, right? <laughs> yeah. at, the, at the top, off the yeah. top, yeah, roses. off the top. Everyone's great. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Josie, Falca, everybody, her fling is connecting. Josie, can Josie, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm gonna give. Hi. Hey, Hi. welcome to the I show. Don't know where I'm at <laughs> conversation, so I probably just cut somebody off. Uh, no, no, we actually it was perfect timing. I was like, Josie's coming back, she should be back here any second. I and then <laughs> I, I filled the time. Okay, we have a couple minutes left in the show. What, what are what you here? To- oh, are you fucking with me? I'm not. Put I your headphones hear you. in. Try that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you can't hear nothing. I can, I can hear you. You can hear me. me? I can hear every. I can hear everybody but Eric. Oh my god! Oh check. god! Check, check, check. Your okay, mic was not in, eh? Tell her to oh, tell her yeah. story. No, I, can, I can hear you guys. I can't hear him. Okay, Josie, you are a big. Uh, you are a big closer for the evening. So we're closing on your story. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, Josie, you got your big round of applause. So we'll kick oh. it over to you. Tell us your story. Oh. I'm back. Okay. Um, well, I still can't hear you. No, Eric, I can't hear anything you're saying. I'm not saying anything anymore. Moving. Oh, I can hear you. Okay, look at oh, us. There you. we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back. Here we go. We're going to round out the show. I need to get some order back uh, in here. Uh, <laughs> Nate, uh, uh, Josie, I don't know if you know Nathan. He works at the Stag Shop, and he's exactly. also in the BDSM. He's a freaky dude. Uh, Moses is from uh, – you live in, you're in Calgary. Moses is a comedian originally from Coldale, Alberta, not too far from you. Uh, uh-huh. And you know me very well. I know you very well. Now, let's – finish this whatever story you want to tell you're here i mean you were baiting us the whole show whatever you want to say whatever you want to tell us it's free oh i'm just here for the breakup line okay it's not even a good one i just felt like i wanted to be part of this in some way so that i've done it so i can stop being a bitch and saying i'm gonna come and then not showing up okay um okay but (laughs) so basically i was dating this guy when i lived in like a really small town in saskatchewan Mm -hmm. and um he was so nice, but like pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold for I wasn't that attracted to him. No, yeah, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just the way you turned your whole voice. He was, he was so nice. So nice. <laughs> he was so nice, and he was so <laughs> sweet. Like just such a nice, kind, quiet man. Um... <laughs> You're a radio, a morning radio show host. So I don't know how you guys were together. So, yeah, it was, it was rough. So, basically, uh, I was, like, leaving Saskatchewan, and I was, like, no, like, this is the one for me. Like, we're going to get married. We're going to make this work. Um, and I don't know if you know much about Saskatchewan, but Regina is about two hours away from where I was living on the 10-hour drive to Calgary. And by the time I got to Regina, I was so over Brian. Like, it was, like, it was, like a <laughs> two-hour drive away from that relationship, and I was out. So, we were FaceTiming like two weeks later and I was doing like an overnight radio show and he FaceTimed me like at 10 PM while I was in the studio just to see like how I was doing. And I was like, I like, I said something and he just didn't reply. Like he was just like looking at me and he like wouldn't answer my question. And I was like, 
hello? And he was like, I just don't have anything to say. And I was like, you're just not going to talk? <laughs> like, I, can see you, I can see you not talking this isn't text yeah. yeah and then he's like i just i just don't have much to say and i was like i can't do this anymore like i can't be dating a guy who doesn't even talk to me on facetime like, you're so yeah. quiet and then he was like he was like well what do you mean and i was like we have to break up <laughs> like this has, like this has to be it and i was working at the like at that exact moment and he's like no not now and i was like not now like not right, like not today. Like, do you want to do like next Wednesday at nine? We schedule this. Like, I can't. And I actually said that. Like, I asked him if he wanted to schedule the breakup, and he looked so deeply hurt. And we broke up like that night. Like, we didn't schedule it for later. Like, we broke up. <laughs> and um, I still, some it, I still feel bad for that. Some, <laughs> so, some stupid, some idiot told that person to be a strong, silent type. <laughs> and, he just, <laughs> and he's just sitting there like, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving you on three dots on FaceTime. And <laughs> just, and then, he, and then you're like, oh, is, we're breaking up. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. talk to you, wow! Smile at me, like you're so happy to hear me talk, and I was yeah. like, "That's not enough." <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. Have to say. yeah, yeah. You can't, uh, you can't be that far say. away and not talk. Yeah. Uh, uh well, I know, Josie. I just wish that you would just tell your world's best breakup story. You've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> I'm, I'm sober right now. Oh, I thought you heard. Um, I thought you said I'm bombed. I think you. Oh, you said you're bored, and then you said you were well, bombed. I'm, <laughs> okay. Um, no, I can't tell that story because I'm still very close friends with that guy who literally just broke up like on Valentine's Day. So I need to like but even even the that that's a teaser to a great <laughs> story. Broke up on Valentine's Day. If we keep crying, she'll keep on she'll keep giving details. If we keep Eric, if you just no, keep no, going, we'll, Valentine's we'll put her Day. We'll piece it together. She okay. she she explicitly told me I can't tell this live. It's only a text or whatever. With the first but the first time she told me I was fucking dying. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what, this is what we'll do. <laughs> If anyone follows Josie on Instagram, oh. she can text you'd slide into her DMs and she'll text you the story. No, don't tell people to slide into my DMs. This is you had one of two options. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, we gotta close this show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, oh Arden's here. Josie, thank you for coming on the show uh and, and breaking up with the Regina guy. That's very nice. Uh, I'll tell you what, Josie, this is what we'll do. We'll do a part two of the breakup show and you can come on and you can be on the part two of the breakup show when you're ready to okay. tell your story. Okay, yeah. Josie Belga, does anyone, have, does anyone wants to follow you or listen to you on the radio, uh, listen to her at Josie Belka. J-O-S-I-E-B-A-L-K-A. Uh, is it on like Josie Belka FM or something on Instagram or what's your... Okay. Here's Josie Belka. I'm okay. the only one. Well... There's one other one, but fine. And also on top of being a radio show host, jo Josie is a very talented singer songwriter. So listen to her music online. Okay. Josie. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Josie. Bye. 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 Uh Nathan, we'll tell Yo. people what uh <laughs> what uh stage yeah. shop you work at. What, yeah. what, what, tell us what dark rooms we can find you in when this is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's many. There's many. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. well no, if, if you want to know which ones I work at or which ones to avoid when I'm working at. <laughs> um I work at the one on Centennial right across from Eastgate. Oh, shit. Nicole, awesome. to me. I'll have nice. to come by and just <laughs> say hi to you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, and then we'll go, we'll go to some parties and I'll dress like a baby. Uh, everyone, go see, go see Nathan at the steak shop. Yeah. He'll give you 10% yeah, yeah, yeah. off if you mention the show. Uh, right. That's that's not true. 20% off. 20% off there if you, you mention that you saw him on Eric Johnson Live. You guys need to get some dildos or feathers or whatever you need. Uh, dude, I love you. Thanks Yo, for coming thanks, on thanks and being a part of the have show. Going, eh? See you, dude. Bye. 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 Michael Moses, my friend. Hey, my, yo, uh, man, my that very, was fun. My oh, very, shit. My very, keep, you got to stop punching the camera. <laughs> I, no, I keep hitting the court. This. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh. you, well, dude, when this is all over, we're going to go on a big, uh, another tour if we can. And uh, But yeah, everyone, absolutely. you can see on the screen there, uh, if you want to follow Moses. In. Yeah, at Moses. It's Michael Moses. Also, uh, you can follow him on YouTube. We've got a ton of hilarious, amazing 
uh, YouTube clips on there. He's building a he's a content king on YouTube. So you can watch all of his stand up clips. You can see him Thank live you, yes. when this is all over. He's one of my longest and truest friends, and I love him very much. Thank you for having uh, me, man. Of course, see you, dude. I'll that take was a care. lot of that was a lot of fun. That was yeah, a lot, good. A lot you of fun. see, we all wrote yeah. some, we, we both wrote, we both wrote some stuff in this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going yeah. to the next sex parties. Okay, oh, I'm gonna kick you out. Oh, yeah. Everyone, say goodbye to Moses. Right. Bye, Moses. Bye. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show tonight on Eric Johnson Live. That was an interesting one where we went from uh, breakup stories to fetish uh, stories and BDSM and breakups and regina breakups and vagina breakups and all kinds of stuff. Uh, that was great. That was so much fun. Thank you guys so much to everyone who listened, everyone who watched, everyone who was uh, on the show, part of the show, commented along with the show. Uh, and some people say, don't close the show. I just got here. Arden says, don't close the show. I just got here. Bye. Um, don't worry, guys. As soon as every episode is over, I automatically immediately upload these full episodes to YouTube. You can find that on my YouTube channel. Guys, my name is Eric Johnson. This has been the Relationship Breakup Show. Our next episode on Tuesday night is a uh, travel show. Crazy travel stories on Tuesday night on Eric Johnson Live. If you guys have any crazy travel stories, if you've been to Bangkok or you've got your cock banged in Bangkok or you've been to Australia and got stung by a jellyfish and somebody peed on it, whatever. Whatever you've done, whoever you are, wherever you've been, I want to hear about it on Tuesday night on Eric Johnston Live Travel Edition. This has been Eric Johnston Live Relationship Breakup Show called It's Not You, It's Me. Uh, thank you guys again to everyone who watched. I love you all. Take care.